that the one that you draw uh, is a sequence diagram in the analysis phase. Okay. All right. So if we can review back our sequence diagram. So this sequence diagram, we call it a sequence diagram in analysis phase where we have objects. This is all the object, register panel, register manager, employee, we call it a, we call it, call it object. And we have a messages, okay? So click register button, display registration form and so on. This is all the messages uh, which show us the communication between objects. So how the object communicates is based on send uh, based on the sending and receiving the messages from other object okay so uh, in the sequence diagram it is an in sequence if this object uh, uh, interaction between this object is in sequence so we can see the sequence from one two three and so on okay and then in the collaboration diagram or communication diagram we restructure this uh, object and messages into a different kind of uh, structure where we, we want to show the number actually of object uh, which can interact between uh, each other okay so this is a sequence and collaboration uh, i know that you some of you have that drawing the collaboration but some of you not but the information here is a uh, between object and the messages sent sent to the other object right so now in the uh, design phase we want to upgrade we want to uh, review the sequence diagram okay now we want to draw the sequence diagram uh, in the design phase okay what we have to do is based on our sequence diagram here we start by adding a new diagrams we call it a class diagram okay if you use a style ml you can follow my steps All right Okay, so we want to add new diagram, we call it a class diagram. Alright, so uh, we start draw the class diagram. So for example, I'll use my case uh, study, so I have One uh, class I call it register panel. Then I create another class. Uh, no, I, I don't want to name it as a register. Okay, let's say my system is something called whatever acronym I um, employee management system EMS. For example. Okay, um, so if you realize that, I'll get, for example, I have four classes here in my class diagram. One, I call it EMS, Employee Management System Panel. Then EMS, uh, Manager. And then I have Employee and Salary. So I have four classes. If you realize or not, I'll start the class name with a capital letter. Okay, just leave it with that. So I have uh, in my screen here, uh, model two. I have class diagram and then all the class, uh, all the classes is listed here. I'll go back to my uh, sequence diagram. Okay, make sure now you do the, uh, you save as a different name of the sequence. Save, save as different name because we want to maintain uh, 
the sequence analysis phase. Now we want to convert it into the design phase. Make sure you have the original copy of your sequence in analysis phase. All right. Now, uh, what we have to do is, can you see all this object? We want to match all the object with the class. Okay, I'll start with the register panel. Register panel R small R small R uh, indicate to us that it is an object name. Okay, if you see my class name here, I'll start with the capital letter. So I click on here on the uh, EMS panel, and then I. Uh, this is again okay, depend on your, the tools that you uh, use. Or uh, here in UML uh, style UML, you can click on this name. Okay, if you double click on register panel again, I do it, and then you have a lot of uh, icon here. You choose select type. Okay, and then you go to the model tool. Choose EMS panel. Okay. Can you see the difference? So we have now object name followed by the class name. So we know that this object register panel is in the class name. Uh, class EMS panel. Okay. The class name is EMS panel. Okay. We'll do it for register manager as so, well. Okay, like that. This one is right. The first part is a object, and then followed by the double dot here, and we have uh, the class name, right? And then the employee. So we do the same. We'll mesh the employee object of employee to the with the class employee. All right. The next step is we'll go through all the messages. Now we want to upgrade the messages from message into operation or from message into method. You remember that when you uh, you know do the programming Java. You have class, you have object, you have method, you have attributes or variables, right? So now all these uh, messages we want to convert into method so that we can do the uh, implementation, the operation of that uh, method. Okay, register uh, button here. We click and we'll change create operation instead of register click register button we call that operation register this is a method name okay all right can you see what's the difference from the previous one now register button one word and then followed by the open and close uh what call it bracket here uh, Right. This this is this symbol show us that this is a operation now, not the message anymore. Okay. The second one display form. Uh, uh, display form. Okay. Okay. Number three, fill in form. Fill in form, who will do it, the filling the form? Is it automatically will be filled up by the uh, system or manually? No. No. Yeah, manually by the employee, yeah, right? So this one is not considered as a method because this is manual. The employee will use the keyboard to fill, you know. We don't have to do it automatically, right? We cannot automate that process. So we will not convert this number three messages into the method. There is no way. Uh, even, you know, uh, 
we don't have to create a method for that because this is a this process is manually but click button is a user we click on the interface right that one is a operation why because once the actor the employee click on submit button so the system have to process right so here we'll uh, change from message to uh, operation submit button i call it you, you can you can create your own name whatever but as long as it represent the message that you want to uh, and again the operation or the method name in our practice is you start with a small letter register here display okay and no space if you want to have more than one words no space between that okay then send form okay verify Okay. All right, so now we have uh, matched all the object with the uh, respective class okay and then uh, the uh, relevant or related messages will convert into uh, operation or method okay All right okay we'll go back to our class diagram okay can you see our class diagram Uh, the different of our class diagram. Okay, when I create the class diagram, I only have a class name. I'm not at the operation. But once I upgrade the uh, sequence diagram, so all the operation will be added uh, in the uh, respective class. Okay, all the class will be assigned. Okay, so the, the this one, if you use the style ML, if your tools not support this, you have to uh, write or you have to type the operation. So you still remember that our class have three compartment, uh, class name, and then the second part is a, well, we have class name and then uh, attributes, and the last one is a, operation uh, all the operation related to that class right okay and then uh, we can draw the the line because uh, manually we know that uh, the manager can interact with the panel so we can draw the line the employee can go to the manager and also if i just add salary uh you know i assume that i have another sequence diagram from another use case right uh where they have uh, entity called salary if you have other entity you can just add okay we'll go back to the sequence diagram if you can see here uh, the first operation number one register button where is the arrow n here right in the ems panel or object register panel okay and then you see a uh, message number uh, operation number five send form where the arrow n in the register manager or ems manager okay you remember these two number one and number five and then we'll see the 
class diagram. So number number one just now is a register button. So this operation will be at under EMS panel. And send form just now number five. Send form will be added in the EMS manager. So if you do it manually, how you are you going to you know to add this operation will be added into which class you see the where the arrow end. Okay. Again, the save info. Okay, number seven. Save info is from manager into to the entity to the employee. The arrow end in the object of employee or class employee. So in the class diagram, we add save information under class employee. All right. So this is what you have to do with your sequence diagram. And at the same time, you will have your class diagram. Okay. Uh, a bit tricky because um, you only have one class diagram at the end. I know that, for example, you are four in a group, right? So you will have a different sequence, right? Uh, but when, when you want to draw the class diagram, at the end, you have to combine everything in one class diagram. Um, how you manage is uh, probably if you use, for example, a star UML, maybe you can uh, ask your friend, the first member have to upgrade the sequence first, okay, with all the classes, and then you can share the file to the other members, okay, and then because at the end you will have one class diagram. I will expect uh, that uh, you will have more than one uh, entity classes here. Okay, but I really want you to finish your sequence uh, diagram. Okay, in the same time, don't forget about the collaboration diagram. I'm not sure to the collaboration diagram. I assume that uh, once your sequence diagram is okay, your collaboration diagram is just uh you change the arrangement right i mean that the diagram uh it is not so difficult but if if you you know if you want me to show to you your, the, the collaboration diagram yeah let me know okay all right so can we agree that uh i think if you uh, start upgrade your sequence diagram analysis phase to the design phase and your class diagram will be ready as well right and then we can finish this pbl2 by end of this month i mean that uh by 31st uh, of may you can you can you know uh submit all the document all right on 1st of June. Okay. To wrap up the PBL 